gear down to the uh, T hangers. I got some work to do on it. I need to pull a starter today. Um, but the main reason I'm doing this video is you can see where I've repaired my cover. That cover is about probably about eight years old, maybe a little older. And uh, I just ordered a cover from Kenan. It'll be here by the end of this month. So when I put it on, you'll be able to compare the two covers. Uh, of course, that's my towel repair, the sew job in the side there where you can see the windows. But that's the best I could do at the time. So for today, it's a uh, starter, pull the starter off, clean it up good, put it back on. And then uh, I think my vacuum pump has died on me, so I need to pull it, which means I need to pull the right mag as well. So uh, we'll get a little video of that as well. So anyway, let's pull the airplane down to where you see the uh, open hangar. And just a quick view, there's Margot's airplane. There's the Baron, and then uh, that jet came in last night. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit. Well, I took the starter apart, and it was pretty corroded. What you're seeing is not corrosion. Uh, it is, if you haven't heard of it, it's called Black Bear. And it is a uh, something that was developed during World War II, actually. And it's a petroleum product. You can buy it. Uh, it's for airplanes. Uh, it's good on just about anything. But here in this salt air, um, it don't let the salt air get to the parts. But uh, I cleaned it up, got the rust off of it, got some clean connections in the back back there. So that's done. Now the vacuum pump, let me go over here for a minute. The splines on the vacuum pump for the two drives as you can see, shredded. And I'm lucky, um, a friend of mine here at the airport had another one, so I put it on. The vacuum pump is the worst nightmare to try to get back on because if you look at the location of the screws, these two aren't too bad. And even the one on the bottom down there, which you can't see because there's not enough light, um, even that one isn't too bad. But the one on the other side that you can't see from here in the corner by the oil filter was a nightmare. And what I did was I got lucky. Uh, let me go to the other side. I have these screwdrivers that electronics people use and they have magnets in them. Like that little fella right there. So what I did was uh, become, I, my finger became a contortionist and I took the um, nut, which as you can see, everything wants to stick to the magnet now all of a sudden. Um, I, I took this, put it down in front of the nut, and then I supported it with my finger from underneath on the other hand and finally got it to turn just a wee bit, just enough to take a hair of a thread. And I managed to uh, put it back on again. So that's what I'm working on right now is the vacuum pump. Uh, here's the part number for my vacuum pump. This is the little connecting spline. And I learned something today that I didn't know. I, I usually do learn something new. Um, let me turn this off, I'll be right back. Okay, I did not know how to tell if that spline connector was broke or not. If you take a look right where I'm shining the light, you'll see a white object with a couple of black objects in it. That little white object is the connector that I showed you that was broken over there. That's what it looks like is one piece. And what it does, that's exposed. So that literally shreds, and you'll see pieces of it laying over the top of your uh, vacuum pump. And you know to change it out. Well, I, I didn't know that till I got this thing apart. And now I'm reassembling it. I got uh, two more nuts to put on it, and then I'll torque it down, and then we'll start the engine and let her run for a bit before I put the cowling on. And I think we'll pretty much be done for today. So the vacuum pump hopefully is repaired, unless it shreds again. And um, the starter, which is really what I wanted to clean up and decorrode, is complete as well. So, 
we'll get this little fella running here in a bit and charge the battery again and then I'll put the cowling back on and we'll put it away for the night. <laughs> 